Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Village Build on the modified version of the Bebo Tech Pack, hosted by the Lords and Ladies of Anarchy Server. Um, earlier today, I need to go ahead and apologize. Earlier today, I tried to do a video, and it turned out it didn't record. Uh, fortunately enough, it didn't. It wasn't that much of. Uh, I hadn't gotten that much recorded, so didn't lose too much. I did uh, do a tour of my chaos base. And we finished up the uh, walls and the roofs and the village. We also looked at a few new textures that Landstrider gave me a suggestion on. And they actually turned out really well. Um, so between that time and now, I went ahead and finished putting all those textures in. And uh, I guess today we're going to go ahead and finish up the uh, store and maybe get started on a few of the other buildings. Uh, because I don't like doing any of the detail work until I get all the buildings in place. And then I'll go through and try and figure out a set of the details I like to uh, base the village on. So I guess today I'm going to start off with uh, showing you the chaos base. And then we'll head over and I can show you what I did between the uh, last episode and this one in the village. And there it is, the Chaos Base. And every time I've played Minecraft, I've always done one style or another uh, build. And in this one here, it's a fairly easy pack, so resources are easy to come by. And I figured I'd decide to try and just kind of mesh everything together. It's still a work in progress, but it's just... You know, a few industrial buildings, a few futurist buildings, um, some mage towers. So it's just a uh, hodgepodge of various buildings and different styles. I do plan on adding more to it in, as far as style goes. But until then, uh, let's go ahead and see what we've got now. I've got the uh, mage tower. Here you can see I've used a lot of the uh, carpenter's blocks to uh, get all the shapes. And yes, that is a lot of hammering and a uh, just a huge headache trying to do that many carpenter's blocks. Uh, up top, I did some uh, customer trees. The uh, silverwood trees with the uh, way they grow now. Um... They, they're really not appropriate for the build that I'm wanting to go with. I mean, they look great. I like, I really do like the new uh, design on the uh, silverwood trees. But for what I was needing to go with, it just wouldn't work. So I decided to uh, make my own trees. I'm not very good with trees. I probably need to make some of these bigger and uh, fill them out a little more. Still haven't finished this floor. The rest of it's pretty close to being finished. I still need to add some more columns and stuff in the corners, but that's the uh, mage tower. Over here is something I've been working on recently. Um, still trying to find blocks for it. I'm trying to make what looks to be a old 1.6 Mac. Uh, these coins from Chisel look really good for the uh, vents, but I haven't found a block that looks good for the corners of the Mac. And the reason why I'm wanting to do this is because this is where I'm going to be doing all my AE auto processing. processing. It's going to be in here. As you can see, I've got a fairly extensive setup in here. Uh, Still learning the mod, so I don't want to go into too much detail in case I am wrong about how I've got that set up. I'm sure Landstrider or someone else on the server can help me out with that. I think I've got a pretty good setup for it, though. Over here in this uh, factory block futuristic building, I've got my uh, fuel. My uh, Basically, all my liquid storage is up here. I've got my smeltery. And I've got just a few machines that run on the uh, fluid. Uh, upstairs where I do my power gen. 
I don't know what it is with these generators. I just think they're funny. Uh, they actually run really good. They generate ADR if a tick, and the fuel consumption is really, really low. So you can run a handful of these for almost no fuel. And, you know, uh, ADR for tick, so you actually get quite a good power supply of that. I've been, you know, chaos builds, using a little bit of everything. So I've been pulling power supplies from all the mods here on this pack. Um, you know, the extra utilities generators, uh, thermal expansion generators, been using um, some generators from Enderio. These are the new combustion generators for 1.7. Um, you know, I'm not sure if there's any other power sources other than big reactors. I need to look into that. Um, yeah, because I'm just, like I said, it's a fairly easy pack, so I've been using it to try and get accustomed to the 1.7 uh, mods. Ah, uh, here we go. Got a little more uh, mechanism power generation up here. You know, this here generates, I'm thinking it's 120 RF during the day. So just passive, 120 RF. Uh, these generate 90 RF tick just sitting there. So some pretty nice power supply that you can get in 1.7. A lot, of, Some of it's uh, pretty common from 1.6, like these solar panels and the wind turbines, but the mushroom generators and the new TE uh, dynamos are really impressive on uh, the way they generate their power. Once, uh, you know, if you guys want me to uh, go into more detail about some of the tech on uh, my builds, I can. Uh, that's another thing we I talked about in the uh, first attempt at this video was, you know, what other kind of videos would you guys like to see? Would you like to see some just regular playthroughs uh, of me doing a Minecraft? And if so, what kind of uh, packs would you like to see? I mean, I'm open to play just about any pack, at least or at least try any pack uh, for a few minutes and. So yeah, you name a pack and give me some ideals for some packs to try out. And see about maybe getting some of those sewn in with some of the build episodes. And might be nice, but uh, it's on with the tour. Up here we've got my uh, Batania garden. S still just kind of not, I haven't decorated it at all. It's functional though. Um... Is that a peck I see over there? That's the first time I've seen one on this server. It is, isn't it? Well, I'm glad to know that they're around, still around. Okay. Let's see here. Um, got my mob farms. I've got a couple different types down here. I've got a XP farm, which is just a couple fans pushing the mobs into some autonomous activators, not a chisel block, but some autonomous activators with a vacuum hopper, along with the XP. Um, the next one down is just a uh, standard MFR grinder, allows me to get my mob essence, and then I've got a couple spawners in there from Ender IO. Um, something else is new in the uh, 1.7 Ender IO. Uh, you know. Enderio from 1.6 to 1.7 has made a lot of changes and they've all been good so far that I've seen. Um, so those are the three spawners here. I got Enderman, Blaze, and this last spawner is actually a Wisp spawner. Over here is just a temporary structure. Uh, there's something wrong with that chunk over there that won't allow me to spawn withers without desyncing me to death. So I have to move my MFR auto spawner over here so I can get me some wither skulls. Hopefully I'll be able to do something a little bit nicer than that eventually, but 
down here on this level would be, you know, the industrial factory. You know, uh, just a typical, pretty boring bit structure. Said so still working on all the details, but see, I've got all the machines down here. And that's about it. The central tower, and everything spirals off. Well, I got the gardens out here. Um, this one garden by itself will not keep up with fuel consumption. Because this is what I'm using to uh, fuel my base with. Uh, this one garden by itself will not keep up with it. So I have to turn on this one every now and then to uh, kind of boost production. Right now I'm doing pretty good on production, but... Uh, in case you guys are wondering, right over here is what I'm using all that planning for is potatoes and sugar cane. Need it to uh, create hooch, which you then, uh, well, it's potato, sugar cane, and water to make hooch, which you then take the hooch and mix it with blaze powder and redstone, and that'll get you the fire water, which is one of the fuels that the uh, combustion generators can run on. A, uh, and these, this tank here is rotten flesh and sugar, which will produce the nutrient distillation, which is what the zombies uh, generator run on. But yeah, running these two tanks full force, um, that one farm can't keep up. Now, granted, I am running quite a few generators up there. You know, they're, let's see. They're too deep, so there's two, four, six, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Is that right? The eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Yeah, there's. You can see there's quite a few generators up here. Uh, can't think straight today, so I'm not even going to attempt to do the math. But uh, what I was saying is the central tower is just that. It's just a central tower to allow you to get up to the uh, different levels and different platforms. Um, I do plan on doing some sort of a dome on the top of it once I get to uh, whatever build height I want to build to. Still haven't decided how many structures I want. Well, that's the uh, Chaos Tower. It's just basically a bunch of chaos. Um, so I guess now that that tour is over, let's head on over to the uh, village and see what I've done between uh, last episode and this one. Let's see here. Uh, where's my teleporter at? There it is. And do I have deadly gaze? Five minutes of it. Good thing I don't have a farm anymore. So let's see here. Head over to the village. Alright. Um, the one suggestion that Landshider had given me for the roofs was to use the uh, sky sewn bricks to, uh, for the roofing material. And it actually turned out pretty good. It does look a lot like actual roofing shingles. So let's go ahead and jump up here and see what it looks like. That's the Skystone Bricks from AE2, uh, the 1.7. Um, AE is, is, has changed quite a bit. And I'm still trying to decide if I like it or not. It does have a lot of potential, and uh, I think maybe once I get to well, learn the model a little bit better, I'll be able to uh, appreciate it more. But yeah, this is the uh, sky stone brick that you get from the meteors, where you find the presses for your processors. And I think that looks surprisingly a lot like a roofing shingle. So I went ahead and did all the roofs like that. This is the roof that I attempted to uh, build on camera uh, earlier today. Didn't quite work out. Um, another problem that we ran earlier today 
in the videos, uh, was the lack of room. I've got one room down here, really small, and then I got this larger area for the kitchen and dining room. There's not enough room upstairs for bedrooms. So I've got to find another place to add bedrooms on, which is going to uh, cause me to have to modify these roofs, unfortunately. The same thing with this building over here. Um, once again, after uh, getting a uh, just a temporary block put in for the ceiling, realize there's just not enough room upstairs for a bedroom. So once again, I have to uh, add on to the house and uh, change that up. But for today, what I think I want to get done, I want to go ahead and get the general store done get it uh, roughed in really good and um, go ahead and finish off the rail station as well um, and if we have time we may go out to the uh, coast and get started on some of the layouts for some of the uh, coastal buildings um, I said with the way I build and the uh, stuff is I can't stand to do one thing over and over again. Got a bit of an ADHD and it drives me nuts. I, I end up making mistakes if I try and force myself to do something for too long of a period of time. So I like to you know, do a little bit on this building, jump over to that one, and do something different. And while I'm working on this one here, I'm not thinking about that building. But usually, something will come up, and I'll just have an idea. It'll just pop, pop up my head, and it'll work for this building. And then, uh, same thing. I'll get to a point on this building where I can't do much more with it, and I'll go to another building and work on it until an idea hits me to work on this one. So, uh, I guess the Chaos Base does kind of work pretty good for me because it gives me a lot uh, more diversity on my builds. You know, allow me to jump back and forth between different styles. Uh, but I guess today uh, we'll get started on this store here. Uh, so, before we get started, I'm going to, uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? Uh, let's go ahead and start with the... Uh, there's that sky stone. Let's go ahead and get some dark wood. And start with the frame. That's usually what I like to start with. Is I like to start with the uh, foundation and get a general shape laid out and then I like to uh, go into the frame and uh, get it squared in a little bit more get the shape to uh, come out a little bit better so I want my walls what are they three high yep. so I can do it like that so go over and go one two three All right. Um, as you can see, once again, I'm just kind of flying around, bouncing off the walls as I build. It just kind of helps keep me distracted long enough for me to actually think about something. Um, another thing is, um, uh, in the comments, why don't you guys go ahead and let me know uh, some of your thoughts on the uh, buildings on uh, Crash Landing and uh, what you think about the uh, Crash Landing mod in general. Um, I know that uh, we've been promising a uh, 113 update. Um, Iskandar's had some uh, health and personal issues that he's had to deal with, so uh, it's been a little bit slow on that. 
But uh, on my side of things, I have gotten all the new builds in. Um, I've got a uh, couple new city buildings, and then uh, rent, went in and reworked all of the existing. Hang on a second. Need to get some stone here. Let's see what is that. Fancy arrangement. Stone bricks. Uh, but yeah, I've gone in and uh, redid all the city buildings. Uh, it's going to be four different versions of the current buildings that are in there are in the pack now um, there's going to be a version that is uh, buried four deep and there's going to be a version that is going to be buried uh, ten deep uh, in addition to that uh, all the buildings I've got a destroyed version of all the buildings and both the uh, four and ten deep buried uh, versions so, basically you take uh, all the builds we've got now, and we've just got a whole lot more variety in uh, what the cities will look like. Uh, also, we're going to be changing the uh, size and layout of the uh, cities. Instead of having one large uh, super city, like we've uh, got in 112, we plan on adding... Uh, making the city smaller and adding uh, different uh, what's the word am I looking for different districts different city districts so we'll have like a uh, government building which will have uh, the offices and a few of the high rise towers the government buildings will have a factory district which will have the uh, factories, a few of the uh, smaller apartments, um, and then we will have the shopping district, which will have a bunch of the, a uh, couple of the new buildings that I've added, which include a shopping center and a uh, restaurant. Um, there are a few other uh, builds that I've been working on with a uh, group of friends kind of a uh, secret little project can't say much about it but uh i probably won't be out in one one three but it should be out uh pretty soon um i have been talking with iskandar about 1.6 crash landing and uh all the bugs he's been wanting to uh upgrade to uh 1.7, but that's just going to create a huge headache, and it's going to delay ending of uh, crash landing. So I think I finally talked him into uh, going ahead and finishing crash landing on 1.6, and then moving on and doing another version of crash landing on 1.7. Uh, so we've been talking about end game. Uh, things have changed since his original concept of the uh, pack came out, but I'm thinking uh, what we've been talking for, well, from what I've been talking with him about, it's been working out really nice and uh, hoping you guys will like the uh, changes that we made to the end of it. Let's see, what class is that? can't remember what glass that was. I think it was the light glass that I'm using for my sword fronts. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about uh, crash landing or you'd like to see me maybe even do a crash landing playthrough, uh, let me know. Uh, also did a uh, short uh, guest appearance over on the uh, 
Crash Crew Server. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this uh, class, get this class in here, and uh, like I said, if you guys would like to see me doing some more crash landing, whether it be a legit playthrough or just me goofing around over there on the uh, server, uh, yeah, who knows, uh, maybe something will come of it. Alright, there's that. Um, not sure what I want to do with the roof on this place. Do I want to do... Yeah, let's just go ahead and do a standard roof on this one. Let's go over and check and see how we're doing on Carpenter's Blocks before we get started. Oh, I got plenty. For now. Man, I have used hundreds, I mean hundreds, of Carpenter's Blocks on this village so far. Need a little bit of dirt here, don't we? Uh, let's see how steep this roof is going to be. And, uh, so this is going to be a really standard roof, so it's going to be, I guess I can go ahead and show you guys the layout for it, and then just to, uh, keep things moving along, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I will go ahead and jump in and do a, probably try to do a time lapse of me finishing up the roof, and, you know, you guys can let me know if you like the time lapse, or if you'd like to see me just kind of sitting here placing blocks like this. Um, you know, maybe I should keep it kind of low, like the, uh, shop here. Let's go ahead and try that real quick. That might actually make things a little bit faster on this. Let's try that. Uh oh. Oh, I just remembered something. I forgot to put my armor on. Those guys are nasty, especially when you don't have your armor on. Uh, let's go ahead and go down there and take care of the uh, customers. Store's not opened yet, but I think we can take care of a few of them. Alright. Now oh, that's out of the way. Let's get back to doing just a little more build. Still fairly new to this. And I am struggling on trying to keep up with what all to say on here. Hopefully, I can get some uh, good comments and some feedback uh, on uh, my videos. Kind of help give me some uh, things to talk about. And, you know, see what happens. I'm still not certain if I want to uh, continue making videos. For YouTube, uh, this is still kind of a test to see if I can get things to catch on. And uh, once again, I am willing to uh, do some legitimate playthroughs as well as some other, you know, goof around videos. Um, in addition to these builds, Cause I know these kind of uh, episodes. I like to watch them because it gives me a lot of ideas and inspiration. Um, you know, I like watching um, Bebo, uh, B00, uh, you know, some really good builders. And I like to uh, just kind of watch them for inspiration. I don't like copying anybody's builds. And that's one thing I always refuse to do. Is, uh, 
copy any kind of build somebody else does. Uh, I will take aspects of it. You know, if they come up with a uh, really good design for a roof or something like that, then I may try and incorporate parts of that into my builds. But really, these build episodes can be kind of boring. And I know that, so I don't want to do too many of them. I don't want to keep them, I don't want to make them too long either. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off here. You can kind of see what the uh, storage is going to look like. Um, and uh, I'm going to cut it off here. I'm going to go ahead and get that roof finished up. And then I guess when we get started back up, we can uh, get started on some new buildings. Um, I will try and get this finished up uh, between this video and the next. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to bore you guys too much with the uh, building. But, uh, you know, at least uh, give you some general ideas of how I build. Um, once again, trying to catch up from the uh, last video earlier today. Um, hopefully the next, uh, the next video will be some actual building. So just raining and showing things off. Uh, I know that's kind of been what the uh, first video was about. And this video has been basically the same thing, just another tour video. Ooh, got some oil out there in the water. Oh, uh, may have to put an oil rig out there. But, uh, yeah, I'm still getting used to, uh, the YouTube videos and such, so, once again, comment, tell me what you like, what you don't like, uh, what would you like to see in the future, and if you have any suggestions for the, uh, town, be sure to give them to me, um, uh, you see Landstrider suggested the, uh, Skystone, and I have no problem using that and letting him know that that was a perfect block for the roofs for this village. So, uh, thank you, Lance Strider. And, uh, so until next time, everybody have fun, be safe, and take it easy.